Hi guys, Mitch here again from MJB Seminars where you liberate, empower and inspire yourself to be the greatest example of your creation. This week I want to talk a little bit about something that could be perceived as being a little bit controversial and you know me, I can be a little bit controversial, right? I want to make a really important statement. Don't ever expect life to give you what you want or your children what you want if you tend to make your children more important than you. Now, the stereotypical thing of a parent, and I know I've seen it in my own life, and I've seen it with my wife as well, is that when your children turn up, you tend to give up everything and just focus on your kids. And one of the greatest wishes that most parents want for their children is for their children to put themselves first, and for the children to build their self-esteem and make sure that the child feels as if they are number one. But the truth about it is, is that children do what you do and not what you say. And if you make the mistake in your life that when your children turn up, you make them more important than you, all you actually do is instill a level of, self, of lack of self-worth in the child. Why? Because you have made the child's value more important to you as opposed to your own value to you. And when you do this, your child sees you doing this and it teaches the child a lack of self-worth. So, who is number one in your life? You are number one in your life. There is no one in your life more important than you. And when you realize this, you literally watch your children's level of self-esteem totally and utterly build and build and build. I know when I was able to encourage myself and my wife to continue with our vision for our lives, to make sure that we didn't give up our dreams and aspirations. And what happened at home for me was is that, you know what, I, I was all about rushing home and just being there for the kids and I stopped you know, doing the things that were important to me like BMXing or skateboarding or hanging out with my buddies, you know, or going and having a beer on a Friday night with my friends or going to the gym. I gave up all these things because I was just like the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids, the kids. The only reason I did that is because my parents did it, and their parents did it, and their parents, their parents did it. But I asked myself an important question. How do I maintain my self-worth and encourage my children to do the same thing? When the ba our first baby was born, I saw Angela do exactly the same thing. Stop hanging out with her buddies. Stop going to the gym. Stop taking care of herself. Stop shopping. You know, the stereotypical thing that a mum says to herself is, you know, my body's not the same. The truth about it is, it's nothing to do with your body. It's to do with who you are on the inside. So in this week's exercise and in the comment section, you may not have kids, I get that. But I want you to ask yourself, what are some of the things you gave up in order to make somebody else feel happy? Maybe you got into a relationship and you stopped hanging out with your buddies or your friends. Maybe you stopped ringing your mum and dad. Maybe you stopped going to the gym and became lazy. Maybe you stopped eating really good food and started eating really crappy food. Maybe you just locked yourself in front of the TV on the couch with your partner. But what are some of the things that you feel you've given up and as a result of that have caused you to feel not so good about yourself? And I want you to tell me what it is you're adamant you're going to take back this week in the comment section. What have you given up and what is it you're adamant you're going to take back this week to make sure that you start living your life and make sure that you start feeling inspired about who you are. And if you have children, what is that one thing you're going to take back to make sure that you encourage your children's self-worth to grow. Now, if you know somebody in your life that has just abandoned their value systems for a job or a situation or a child or a partner, please do us a favor. Flick this forward on Facebook or tweet it to them. Remember guys, love is the only way, love is all there is, live your life inspired. Take care, bye bye.